and you love everything in your life, including your room, to be nice, neat, and organized. It makes you feel like that whatever life throws at you, you are so well prepared. Or maybe, I'm still figuring out the controller. Or maybe you are this kind of person. And your life, and including your room, isn't so well organized. However, after a difficult day, coming back to your own, even a messy room, full of posters and pictures and memories, can give you just a little sense of peace. Those are just some of the examples of how we as people try to search for a little glim glimpse of peace in our difficult and sinful world. However, even though both of those examples are di very different, both of them give a very temporary sense of peace. Even the most organized, that permanent peace that is definitely worth waiting for. So we'll read our verses, Luke chapter 2, verses uh, 25 to 27, and see what God has to tell us about Simeon. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon. He was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It, happened, it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that, the, that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required. So let's take a closer look at what God has to say about Simeon. First thing God tells us is that the Simeon was very righteous and devout. And right after that follows the reason for his righteousness. Simeon has patiently waited for the consolation of Israel. God could have used Simeon's great work that he could have possibly had in his lifetime. God could have used Simeon's positive influence that he could have had in his community. Maybe his great talent or maybe even his great character. But God didn't do that. The reason why Simeon was so special to God and the greatest work in God's eyes that Simeon has done was that he patiently waited for the salvation of Israel. Simeon has lived in a time that was far away from peace. Time that definitely you couldn't call easy. We all know the stories of Herod the Great murdering and killing thousands of infant children just in a nearby city of Bethlehem. People of that time suffoca suffocated under oppressive rule of a very strict Roman government of that time. There wasn't much peace around Simeon, and maybe you can say similar about your life. There, there's not much peace in your life either. There are wars and rumors of wars across the entire world, Pandemics and shutdowns probably affected your social life, for some of you, your mental and maybe even your physical health. However, despite all the tragedies and sin that surrounded Simeon, that surrounded, surrounds us every day, Simeon was looking forward to the peace that is worth waiting for. You can only imagine how much patience it took for Simeon to wait his entire life to finally meet Jesus and finally receive that permanent, true, everlasting peace. So the question is, so what was the source of Simeon's long-awaited peace and what could be the source of our peace even in the difficult, even in the most difficult times? So if you read further, we'll see. In Luke chapter 2, verse 27 to 35. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. When the parents brought in the child, Jesus, to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in the arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations. A light for revelation to the Gentiles, and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, 
This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many Israel and to be sign that will be spoken against. So that the thoughts of many, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Did you notice? The moment Simeon takes baby Jesus into his hands, he knows who this is. And he makes this beautiful proclamation, a beautiful proclamation that some people have been called the Song of Simeon, where he says, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace, for my eyes have seen your salvation. Our Savior. This is a source of true peace for Simeon. And this is a source of our peace. Anyone who comes face to face with Christ, either directly like Simeon did in person, or through God's word like we do every day, has access to the most sure and everlasting peace. Simeon has patiently waited to meet his Savior, despite, and he has received the peace that overcomes any challenge you'll ever face. The peace of salvation and forgiveness that Jesus has earned for us when he was crucified on the cross. The peace that God will never abandon you and will never forsake you. The peace that no matter what happens to you, everything will work out for your eternal good. This is the peace that Simeon had and that we have today. People like to say good things come to those who wait. Maybe you're waiting for God, for who he truly is. You will experience peace that will change your perspective, that will transform your life. It will renew your mind and your spirit. And that peace will definitely last eternity. Amen. For a prayer today, we're going to listen to the song of Simeon. You can just listen and reflect. Thank you. Thank you, Kostya, Mr. Kostya, for sharing God's word with us today and for offering peace that surpasses.